Good morning. Good morning. I'm just applying a little primer. I'm using this one here from Manica Dar. It's called Runway Ready. Hello. Good morning. Let me turn my volume up. Okay. Now say something. I said good morning. I cannot hear you. Oh no, that's not good. Um. Is that better? No. Let me go out and come right back in. Okay. Now, can I, let me see if I can hear you. All right. I said, good morning. No, why can't I hear you? I don't know. I allowed uh, Stringer mm. to have access to my microphone and everything. I can't hear anything. <gasps> Maybe gonna... if you go out and come back in. Okay, I'll try. So, okay. be back in a minute. Did I do that right? I don't know if I did that right or not. No. Is there anything where you have to like turn the speaker on? All right. Is that any better? The microphone's on. And I got my volume all the way up. It doesn't show that your microphone's turned off. No, it's on. Yeah, I checked it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. I got you. I can hear you now. Oh, good. Well, that just solved the problem. I don't know what you did, but you did something. <laughs> good yes. morning. 
Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I got my coffee and I got my friends and I'm ready to roll. I got some just a very few products here, but I feel like, you know, I'm going to be able to do something fun and exciting. And uh, so anyway, are you winging it or do you have a look idea? Um, I know I'm going to use red, white, and blue. Um, and I know that I've got a, I've got a black eyeliner and a white eyeliner. And I have this concealer here from ColourPop that's like white. <laughs> really? Yeah. And yeah. so I thought I'd use it. And I have this beautiful blue lipstick, liquid catsuit lipstick from Wet n Wild. And I have a silver from e.l.f. It's like a glitter kind of a thing. So, I mean, you know, just in a red lip liner and a red lipstick. And so through those combination of products, um, I already applied primer. So I'm, I'm ready to go. I was just going to say, if you're face painting, make sure you use primer. Yeah. Because there was times Crystal did a face painting look and it didn't quite come off when she went to work. Oh, bummer. Well, I, this is the one I'm using today. It's called, it's from Mana Kadar. It's called Runway Ready. It's kind of like a gel, like a pore filling type primer. And it's got like a silicone kind of a feel to it. And it leaves your face feeling really uh, powdery, like silky powdery feeling, you know. And I don't know if I've tried Mana Kadar. I've heard good things about it. I don't think I have anything. Unless, does it come in like subscription boxes? Um, occasionally they'll put things in a subscription, but I think that's how I heard of them. First of all, was through, um, Ipsy, I believe. But anyway, they do have a website and they have, um, Oh, we're live. Did you press live? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. When I came on, I just went ahead and went live. Oh, that's fine. I just saw it in be... broadcast. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to be on time. That's fine. Um, oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I just wanted to make sure you knew. <laughs> no, that's all right. Yeah, I know. I know what. So, anyhow, and I also have this uh, really pretty red lipstick here. It's called um, uh, Cru Plush. It's Plush by LA Colors. Anyway, look at this. Oh, my gosh. I have to be careful how I do this because, but anyway. That's it's red. About, it's, it's really, really creamy. Pretty. It's really creamy, so I thought, well, you know, I'd have that. To Good morning, Crystal and Mr. J. Do you see where the comments are? Yes. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, peeps. Good morning. Yeah. Guess what we talked Lori into doing this morning? Ace painting. Yeah. I didn't think she was going to do it. I was like, no, I don't expect anybody to face paint. It didn't take much persuasion. <laughs> she just didn't realize how ripe and ready I was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Crystal says she likes your lipstick. Um, this is, I just did a video of, it's a ColourPop haul. And so anyhow, that's for my lipstick Friday. And, um, but anyway, I got the Barbie collection and this is um, the brightest one of the bunch. And so I like it and I thought, well, I would have it on since i don't have any other anything else on i thought i'd wear a lipstick to start the video look at you me. all red like for the look today you're all red and i'm like here in a black and gray and i'm not anything red white and blue today <laughs> that's all right you'll be great. red white and blue for it's over with i'm sure <laughs> i'm gonna get my face paints out just give me one second I got my handy dandy wipes here. I have to like move to the right hand side of the screen to show up. But yeah, y'all are probably pretty used to all this kind of thing, but I have got some adjustments. I'm acclimating <laughs> to the situation. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I've already got the primer on and everything. All right. I'm using the, I only used it a couple of times, but I really like it. The no prob I can't ever say this name. No problem. That's it. <laughs> I always want to say problem. Um, That's the no problem. The no po no no. See, I can't do it. <laughs> problem. Yes. 
prime essence and i really like it because it goes on like really like watery and then it turns into the silicone mm -hmm. and it makes it easier and i feel like it goes further it's korean skincare too it's awesome i have it have you used it yeah oh yeah one of us sounds robotic can you hear it like like i don't know if it's just me or if everybody else can hear it uh -oh. Hi, Mary. How are you? Uh oh. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Mary. I'll try to stay home, but I'm sneaking out. Now it doesn't sound like it, I don't think, anymore. Maybe it was just StreamYard. StreamYard's been doing that where we all like leave and come back in because we think it's us. But I think it might be StreamYard. Good morning, Sally. How are you? So did you pick one of the looks? Are you going to do like a combination of all of them? Or multiple no, ones? I'm just winging it. I'm, I um, never. Do you plan I never. The Sorry. Did I plan a look? I was asking if you ever plan your looks. I usually come in with an idea of which one I want to do, but I never practice them ahead of time because it always seems like it turns out better the first time. <laughs> That's so, probably true. So I feel like if I practice it, I'm like jinxing myself. Yeah. Oh, Mary Catherine says she can hear us and see us perfectly. Maybe it was just something I could hear. Were you getting an echo or something? No, it was, um, how do you explain it? Like when you have bad reception on a phone and it just sounds really muffled. Oh, yeah. Don't laugh at my ears. <laughs> These are like my lucky ears. Oh, don't you look at Jorbs. <laughs> oh, I forgot to take my eye makeup off. You have eye makeup on? Yeah, a lot of times I accidentally fall asleep with it on. I know it's bad. Half the time I fall asleep with my lashes still on, too. Oh, thank you, Mary Catherine. Because I put my lashes on before I put my makeup on. Because I feel like it sticks better to your skin than having it stick to, like, like powder, like, a found it, like your um, eyeshadow. But if I, when I sleep, I never move. Like I don't move an inch. And if I wake, if I don't move when I wake up, they're good to go. <laughs> if I have to go like to the store real quick, I don't even have to do my lashes. I can't stand to wear them that long. I put them on, I wear them for a few hours. And then after that, I'm done. I'm ready to pull them things off. I forget they're on. I've been doing it for so long now. Um, I swore I would never wear them. And then my son's friend came over and she did my makeup. And she's like, can I put lashes on you? I'm like, go ahead, but it'll be the only time I ever wear lashes. That was like, I haven't stopped since that day. I didn't like how much of a difference it was without them then. And it's weird because I get more compliments like about my eyes with them. And I'm like, they're still the same eyes. Did you like that last look I sent you? I, I didn't did. know if it was very. I, I like. I didn't know if all. it was. I didn't know if it was very Memorial Day, but I thought it was really pretty. Like it was red, white, and blue, but it was like splattered marks. So I was like, I don't know if that's still patriotic, kind of red, white, and blue. But I thought it was pretty. But I think I was yeah, going like to go with like the butterfly mask. 
where it looks like a butterfly. Yeah, I probably should paint this up. Are you just doing yeah, one now? Um, well, I was painting this side of my face, but then I realized because of the way the screen is set up, I'm on the far left of the screen from my point of view, and this cheek right here is actually the one that's exposed to the camera <laughs> the best. And so now I'm kind of thinking about it. I'm thinking about that. Have you ever went live before? I know StreamYard was uh -uh. with you. No? no? How do you like well, it? I mean, I do, I do Facebook Lives all the time. And I have gone live um, by myself on YouTube on occasion. Not really to do a makeup look, but and never with anybody. So this is my first time with somebody. Oh, I feel so special. You are. You are special. Oh, thank you. Your Don't house you is like so bright. It makes my room look so dark. <laughs> I know. I'm sitting in front of this. I've got this great big um, window. My, the way my house is set up, there's one on this side. My uh, This is the dining room area. And then I have another one the same size over here in the living room area. And so there's a lot of daylight that comes in. And I like to sit in front of the natural light. I was going to say that's the best light to have. Well, I'm so happy you decided to go live with me. Yay! And I still, I'm like sitting here, like, I still can't believe your age. Like, I can't. <laughs> I hope I look half as good as you. That when I'm here. Very, very... Hi, Miss Sally. How are you? Like, I, I'm I still can't I feel believe like, it. I feel like I need to shout. I'm probably too loud. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Is it Risa? Good morning, Risa. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Mr. J. Thank you, Mary Catherine. I'm going to plug my phone in really quick. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just letting you know. I'm going to plug it in real quick because I, I tend not to watch my battery. And then the one time me and Crystal were live, and I just went dead. And I wasn't even paying attention to it. All of a sudden, it just said Samsung and turned off. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that myself, so I plugged up too. I was like, I don't know how much, you know energy it's going to take or how long we're going to be on or any of that and i wanted to get set up from the very beginning where i don't have all a bunch of interruptions well what time you said you had to go before your husband because you're going away this weekend yeah uh and you have to we, pack leave, we leave in the morning uh probably about eight o'clock and so everything that i have to do to get ready for this weekend i have to do this afternoon and when he gets in, he'll be, uh, you know, in that mindset of ready to, you know, in, to be in that mode. And I need to flow with him. He gets home about 1230. He has really odd hours. He goes to work at, uh, he has to clock in at four o'clock in the morning and he works till noon. And then he's home by 1230 unless he has to stop somewhere and do something, you know. Um, do you guys have like animals? Do you have to take the animals somewhere and like a whole bunch yeah. to get ready to go, or is it just clothing? Um, they don't take but five minutes to pack because we we're so used to it, and we usually have I have a backpack that I keep with the main toiletries and stuff in it already, yeah. and so it's just a matter of throwing in a couple of outfits, you know. But uh, yeah, we have to take the dog to the dog sitters. And, but we'll do that on the way in the morning. And then. Where do you, you know, guys Just go? running errands. Cleaning the, we had to clean the van because we, you know, we traveled this last weekend and the van, we, I think we pulled all the trash out of it already. But as far as like washing the bugs off the windows and <laughs> you know how it is when you travel. So. My son is coming from Indiana on the June 7th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. And then he's turning around and going into, he lives in Indiana, 
but he's going on vacation in Tennessee and he's getting married while he's down there. So we're trying to figure out the best way because my, my dad lives near me and my other son lives near me, but we all kind of want to go down there. So there might be like five of us in one vehicle or taking two vehicles, but we want to be there for the wedding. Um, Cause he's, they're pregnant right now. So they want to make sure that the wedding is before the baby comes. We're at in Tennessee. Oh, I don't remember the name. It starts with a C. Columbia. No. No. I haven't. I've never really been anywhere but Pennsylvania. So when he said the name, it wasn't like a familiar name to me. He goes You're there. Have fun. Bit. I'm excited, but I'm, I don't know. I'm nervous. He's my youngest. <laughs> so do you have other grandchildren? No, no, no. Well, I mean, not biological grandchildren, like not my, like from my side, but um, my fiance has granddaughters and I consider them mine. I mean, I call them well, my granddaughter. Just wait. You just wait. When those grandbabies come, they will rock your world. I just, I think, I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I just feel like it'll be so hard to send them home when they come to visit. Especially Jaron, my youngest son, because they're in Indiana, so most of it's going to be watching them on social media. I mean, getting older. I won't get to see them as much as I I was hoping to. I know, Mary, doesn't she? She says you look like you're 25. She says, are you going to be a granny? Aw. Thank you, ladies. You just made my year. I get, her, I get told a lot on the phone. That I don't sound like I'm my age. I'm going to be 44 in September. All right. We have to take you to the Sonic. Buy you a Route 44. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's the largest drink that they have. It's like a whole court. There we go. Risa, Risa says, I'm still waiting for a grandbaby. My oldest is 31 and he won't give me give me one yet ah yeah he needs i to always give knew one. i always knew that my youngest was gonna make me a grandmother first i just knew it i always knew it because like he even dated girls that had babies and he was like and i'm like jaren like and i mean like babies like under a year old and i'm like jaren what are you doing and he's like oh it's perfect mom it's like the already made family and i'm like but they're not your family. You're like, you mean like he was like young when he would date these girls? Because he look, he's like six three, and he looks older than what he is. And these girls didn't even care that he was not even eighteen yet. And um, my oldest one is more adamant about. He's like my dad. He's like a mini pop up. I've always called him a mini pop up because. He's trying, he went, he just graduated uh, about a year ago. He just graduated college and he's desperately, tr like, and he's, he's in his field, but I don't know. I don't think he wants children or anything like that until he has a house of his own, his dream job. I mean, like, I don't think he wants a kid. And that's how my dad was. If you don't have the job, you shouldn't be having kids yet. That's my dad. <laughs> but Jaron, Jaron, he he's working basically seven days a week now that he she found out she was pregnant because he wants to make sure everything's good for the baby. Yeah. So when's your birthday? Mine? Yeah. September 10th. September the that was 10th. really good, Lily. So, 
Yeah, that's like the day before 9-11. I'll have to remember that. Yeah, I'm thinking about you in a Route 44. <laughs> Am I coming I'm down to Tennessee? To Sonic. I don't know. If you're coming to be... You're going to be in Tennessee for the wedding for a week to visit with your family. I'll have to let you know what, um, yeah. where it exactly it is. Is there a certain place down there that's known for people vacationing? Or is it all like vacationing? Oh, the whole state. No, the whole state. I mean, we've got so much to see and do here. It is, it is like tourism galore. I, I, I think it starts with a C. And it almost, I thought it was like something court. I might be wrong. Well, when you find out where you're going to be, yeah, then we, well, you can know. Talk, then we can talk about what kind of sites there are to see like near where you're at. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I don't know that, if you guys are going to take a day, you know, uh, to go sightseeing, you know, when you're here for the wedding and everything, but. I could definitely help you out with some tourism sites. I mean, I'm not a tour guide by any means, but, you know, I, I know a lot of places here in the state of Tennessee. That would be great. It would be fun if me and you would actually do get to meet. That would be really cool. And even if we don't get to meet, your family just wants to take off and go, you know, do something for the day, you know? That would be fun for you guys. Well, I mean, because he, I don't know what he's thinking, but he's like, well, you guys can either stay down here and get a hotel room and, like, stay a couple days. He's like, but if you don't feel like driving home, like, the same day as the wedding, he's like, you can always stay at my house. But Indiana and Tennessee aren't, like, like a hop, skip, and a jump. <laughs> he's like, well, it's quicker than driving back to PA. No. And I'm like, yeah, but it's still pretty far, Jared. <laughs> And I, I don't know, I just would feel weird staying at his house without him. Well, oh, yeah. Well, I but was not just his house anymore. Tell him to stop the refrigerator before he leaves. <laughs> to stop it? Uh, Mary, Mary says, I want to join you all if I can, seriously. Me? That would be fun. Get a whole bunch of ladies on YouTube and do a meet and greet. When is the wedding? I believe it's. It was supposed to be on the fourth of July, and then he, they moved it up. I think it's June twenty eighth. I'm pretty sure it's June twenty eighth. They keep changing it. It was supposed to be October of twenty twenty two. Then she found out she was pregnant. So then they said they were going to do it on the fourth of July. Then they bumped it yep. up, I guess, yeah. because of being the 4th of July. Let me know the dates. Let me know the dates whenever you get the dates, you know, settled in stone. And um, if it works out for my schedule, you know, then uh, we could try to hook up. <laughs> okay. That'd be fun. Do you have grandkids? Oh, yeah. How many do you have? I got a whole fistful. Five. Boys, girls, two, both? My grands uh, there's three girls. They're the oldest three, and the two younger ones are boys. And so um, the their ages are 17, 15, 13, uh, 10 and 8. And uh, thank you, Mary. I'm trying. And uh, so anyway, the oldest boy, his name is Terry. He's named after my husband. And uh, he is on, Leanne, set, that's our daughter, Leanne. She set him up on the messenger for kids. And so he's all excited, you know. And so He's video chatting with me yesterday, and uh, he's outside playing with his friends, 
And so his attention was divided, but he wanted to see my face and he wanted to you uh -huh. take advantage, you know, of the fact that he can, you know, chat with me now. And he's so sweet and so loving. He's, 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 he's 10. He says, I think he's going to be 11 in August. Anyway, he says, I love you, Mimi. I, I miss you. You know, he's just sweet. Aw. He's a sweet kid. Yeah, he's a sweet kid. Um, he got an award. He got an award last year at school for being the student that was the most prepared for class. So that means he always does his homework. He always has, you know, all the supplies and everything that's required or needed. And, you know, he's organized. What do you feel is easier, boys or girls? Girls for me. I mean, boys, boys are more challenging to uh, buy for as far as gifts are concerned. They're more challenging to uh, entertain because they usually have uh, lots of pent up energy where girls are more, you know, most of the time when I'm with the girls, they like to do a lot of the same things that I like to do, you know, like cooking and arts and crafts and makeup. And, you know, it's easy for me. Hey, Miss Teresa, how are you? Good morning, Teresa. We're beautiful as ever. She says we're beautiful as ever. Oh, you guys are so Teresa. sweet. You're so encouraging. Um, who was Catherine, Mary Catherine? She's right, though. That shooting star is beautiful. Well, I'm having so do you fun. think you'll keep Are up you with the thing now? I am. I'm just, I, I don't know if you can see it. I go in with, for most of my looks, I have this, I got it at CVS, the NYX Wonder Pen. So I don't even know if they make them anymore. I bought this a long time ago, but it goes in and it's like this color of your skin tone. It's supposed to be something that you That's go in and correct things with, but I use it to kind of map out the look before I start coloring yeah. it all in. Because this way, if I need to take like a black eyeliner or even like a red or a blue and go over it, plus it's like all you have to do is like take your finger and go like that and it just rubs off real easy. So. That's cool. You probably can't see that I even did anything, but I can see it. <laughs> if I'm if I have a mirror and it's just me doing like a video and it's up close, then you can see it, but I don't know. But the two of us and Hey Barbara I, Jean. Good morning, Barbara Jean. Hey Barbara Jean, how are you? <clears throat> Good to see you guys. Um, Good morning, everybody. But I just didn't want you to think I wasn't doing anything. <laughs> oh, no. But a lot of times I get caught up talking and I'm like hurrying to do my look in the last half hour. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure because it's red, white, and blue. And I'm just trying to figure out like if I want to, where I want to end each color. What do you think is easier, boys or girls? Um, well, I have two boys, but then the grand girls, the grandkids that come over are two little girls. Well, they're not little anymore. They're now they're seven and 11 or seven and 12. But to me, the boys were easier. But I always said, oh, I, boys don't like care if, even if they match. Things have changed. Now it's like they buy or care about like name brand sneakers. So like the girls' clothing, how they gotta have like the up to date fashion clothing. Now they gave boys like sneakers. Cause I remember when I was growing up, boys didn't even match and they didn't care anything that they wore. And now they gave boys something to care about. 
Because I can't believe what their sneakers cost these days. We used to pay like $30 for Nike. Now they're like $250. That's ridiculous to me. Me too. But it's all according to what you're passionate about. I mean, I could spend $250 on makeup and skincare in, in a flash. That is true too. Give me, give me 30 minutes and a credit card, honey, and I can do some damage. <laughs> but, um, but as far as like, I don't know how girls are, but both of my boys, they're mama's boys. They'll admit it. And, um, they take care of me. Like I've had so many surgeries and like my oldest son, when I had my last back surgery, he would like lift my lower half up and put me into bed. And my youngest one would get my ice packs or if I needed something to drink, like they take care of me. They're really good. I don't know. I don't know if girls are like that too, but my boys are good to me. That's awesome. Ah, $250. Yeah, $250 for a pair of tennis shoes. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a splurge, most definitely. All right, now... I've done quite a bit of red, white, and blue here. So I'm thinking along the lines of silver now. So I'm going to try to, I hope I don't mess it up. But anyway, I'm going to try to use some of this silver shadow from e.l.f. And, um, you know, add some sparkle to this. I think it looks gorgeous, though. You did a great job. Well, I'm not done yet. <laughs> You think you'll ever do this again? Like on a video or a live? or? Yeah, I like With this. Me? I like to face paint. I have... Um, I've done looks for years on myself and other people. You know? It's just been a while since I've done it. But I, loved, I love face painting. I have uh, a whole kit. It's a big old box of stuff. Of I was going to say, we might have to make you get paint. that kit. Kit out of storage. Yeah, I've got uh, professional clown makeup back there. The Miron, you know, professional clown oh makeup. Oh my god, yeah, the, the Miron stuff? I'm jealous of I'm you now. Sorry. I said you have oh, Miron? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know where to go. I know how to, I know where to get it. I got, I got my favorite shopping places for that kind of stuff. And uh, I set it up, I I've taken um, like books, like you know, I've studied it. Mayron's good. I, it's just that the palette, like a full palette from them, is like over a hundred bucks. I usually buy the individuals because they last a long time. Grease makeup lasts a long time. You know. It's and you got to set it too, you know. So you got to have good. Uh, I buy baby powder and then I get cold cream to clean it all off with, and baby oil, you know, and yeah, all that all that stuff. Can How you come you don't see do this? It it's uh, I usually do it for events, you know, like uh, carnival type things, church. Um, <laughs> you know, events. And I haven't done children's ministry in a few years now. And so it's like, I have to have an, like an event to motivate me. You know, I don't do it just to entertain myself, but I've done all kinds of looks. I've made myself look like pictures? a tiger once. Say it again. Have you taken pictures like of the different looks to make like an album? Uh, no, I don't have like a portfolio or anything, but, um, I probably have some photos somewhere. I mean, I've painted a bunch of kids' faces and, you know, I, I, I do clowning. I can twist up balloons and, you know, do, do balloon sculptures and, um, 
I don't juggle, but I mean, you know, I can definitely dress up like a clown and, and act goofy and uh, have, uh, you know, some things for the kids to do, like blow bubbles with them or jump rope or, you know, you yeah. know, to enter, like for birthday parties and stuff, you know? Yeah. Can you see the silver? It may not show up. This silver is really pretty. It's got like um, opal essence kind of glitter particles. I can I see feel it. Like when, I, you I, head, when you turn your head to the yeah. side, I saw it. And who is that made by? Uh, no, this is Elf. It's actually an eyeshadow glitter. It's amazing how far some of these makeup brands have come. It's like in 2020, everybody stepped up their makeup. Like, every company stepped up their makeup game. Hello, hello. There's Miss Tammy. Hello, Char. Good morning, good Tammy. Good morning, Char. Yeah, good to see you girls this morning. Getting ready for work. All right. What do you do for a living? Miss Tammy, what do you do? So do you think your children are going to be having more children? Uh, no, Leanne's done. She's, you know, she's our only one, but she's, she's done. She's done having kids. She breastfed all five of them. Really? My grandfather had a uh, fourteen great grandchildren. When he like when my grandfather passed away, he had fourteen great grandchildren. But he also had three kids, and then all of them had kids. So. I mean, my dad only had two, but then my dad's sister, I think, has five kids. So I think that's like where the majority of the great grandchildren came from. <laughs> um, All right, I'm going in. I'm brave. I'm going in with the black now. I'm going to put on a little bit of eyeliner. Oh, I'm always afraid to do eyeliner because I'm always afraid I'm going to mess everything up. <laughs> I'm just going to line my eyes here just to bring some definition. Like the wing liner, I'm always afraid I'm going to mess up everything and have to restart. Well, I'm not doing anything crazy. I just want to, you know... Bring some definition to the eye look. Mary Catherine says she's got to go. Thank you for coming, Mary. Love Thank you. you for coming. Thank you Have so much. Day. Yes. Have a wonderful blessed day. Be safe, especially with the Memorial Day weekend coming. Yeah. Watch out for all the crazy drivers. If you're traveling. No, I'm excited about going down and seeing him and him coming here and seeing us. I haven't seen, like, I haven't physically hugged Jaron in a year and a half. I just want to hug him. Uh -huh. That's sweet. 
said, come here, like son. That. Let me put my hands on you. <laughs> you I don't know if I'll let him go. I but... can't talk. Turn your light down. The silver will show up better. Well, I wish I could, but this is natural daylight coming in my window. Supposed to, I forgot to put the wax in my eyebrows. That's why I'm get, having a hard time here. You, you right? Um, do you have this at all? Elf wax stick? Hmm. No. Instead I don't. of blocking, instead of blocking out your brows, it makes it so much easier because it like holds them down. I'm not good at blocking them out yet. <laughs> But it just makes it so much easier. It holds them down and they don't move. Let me close the blinds. Let me see if that'll help. Does that help? Yeah, it got a little. You can see it a little bit better now. Okay. That's, it's just a... It rained all last night, and so today it's, you know, it's clearing off, and it's 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 going to be a sunny day. So once the sun moves up higher in the sky, like this afternoon, and, you know, it comes, it, it's right over here in front of me, and then it comes up over the house, and it goes towards the back of the house. So the the sun from the east, you know, comes in the window early in the mornings i usually don't film this time of day i usually film like in the afternoons or in the evenings but i've got so much going on later on today that i felt like it would be best if we did it this morning i remember you were saying like you wanted to do a practice room to make sure nothing got goofed up at all and when I didn't hear from you this morning, I'm like, oh, no. I don't know whether to postpone it, reschedule it, cancel it. And then, like, then you're like, I'm here. And then I was like, um, what do you call it? I didn't know if when you said I'm here, if you meant, like, I'm here in StreamYard or just, like, hello, I'm answering you. here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, hello, I'm answering you. Yeah. No, I didn't get on. I knew we were set up and everything. I knew it would be successful uh, after, you know, we got everything set up the other day. That was what I wanted to work ahead on was what we did the other day. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you know, once that was all set up, then, you know, I felt like more relaxed, you know, we're, yeah. Oh yeah. Cause I didn't know anything about the, uh, the app or, you know, the, the software, the StreamYard software. So anyway, you did helping me get set up. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Yeah. It's much easier, though, if you're on the phone. Like, I think it would have been really hard to uh, message it, like an Instagram message or text. I think it just would have oh, been yeah. too complicated. Yeah, too complicated. Like, especially, especially when you have to click yes on your phone and then give me the code and that part, I think it's just too hard to do when you're not on the phone. So how early do you guys have to leave in the morning? Uh, we're going to probably take off about 8 o'clock. Um, we have to pick up our friends at nine and I have to drop off the dog before I pick up my friends. So, you know, it's all pretty close in the same area, about 30 minutes from here. So if we leave, if we shoot for eight o'clock, usually we're out of the driveway no later than 10 minutes after and it works out, you know, 
where we stay on schedule. And uh, we still arrive at my friend's house um, a few minutes early, just enough time to load up everybody's junk in the van. You know, that takes a few minutes. So you're staying local? No, we're going to Cross at Arkansas, which is about six and a half hours from here. And, uh, and then how it's long a ministry you trip. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. It's a ministry trip. My husband. Yeah, my husband and I are in the ministry. My dad's wife is a minister. That's cool. And my um my twin cousins are ministers. And then my my cousin Stacy, she um she Bye teaches. Bye, Miss Char. Bye, Miss Char. Sleep sweet, sweetheart. Hope you feel Good night, better when Char. you wake up. She's got to take a nap, she said. Now, say that again, Jamie. I'm sorry. My, um, my dad's mom is a, my dad's wife is a minister. My twin cousins are ministers. And then their sister teaches at the same, like, in a ministry, like a minute. I don't, I don't know, um, if it's at the church or if it's like a Catholic or school but she's like a mm. teacher that's cool thank you thank you look I just got a compliment Jamie aw oh, see I told you it looked great you're a natural yes I am <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to get you to do more lives and more looks. Oh, yeah. Crystal, um, we always call it the dark side. We got her to, um, Crystal, she, um, she went. Face, she it didn't take much to persuade her to do face painting with me, and then it took a while to persuade Tammy. We're like, she we, we brought her over to the dark side. Is this what you call <laughs> the dark side? <laughs> yeah, it was just a joke because she was always saying no to the face painting looks. So we got her to finally it's come over. It can be intimidating. I mean, you know, because you're called upon to uh, produce, you know, something that's going to be creative and fun to look at. And, you know, I mean, if you're not what you would consider artistically inclined, you know, you feel like, what do I have to offer, you know? Um, but you know how I think about it? This is how I think about it. I think about it. If I'm going to sit on and draw a picture on paper and then color it in, you know, like with my crayons or whatever, that's, that's how I look at this. It's like, except my face is the canvas or my body. You know, I really don't, I really don't take it too far down. You know, I might hit, you know, this part of my face right here, my neck, but I don't go too far down. I think I you need, did a great job. I love how you did done. like the outline in blue and then went inside with silver. I need some sequins. But like makeup, face paint wipes off. I mean, like it's not permanent. There's no need to like get upset. You can take it off just like you can take makeup off. Yeah, I hope none of this stains my face. If it stains my mean? face, then I'm. Um, I used ColourPop concealer. I used the Wet n Wild cat suit, liquid cat suit, blue lipstick, and I used uh, the Elf eyeshadow. It's silver, and then I used uh, a black eyeliner, which that's no big deal because that's right there on my eyes. And then I used um, a couple of. Um, this is a white eye stick from ColourPop. It's 
just like a, it's called a cream gel liner. Y'all are familiar with those, the colored pop ones. And then I used this red uh, lip liner from Ace Butte, which is beautiful. So that's what the I did. The only that thing that I would with. think that would stain, if if it would stain, would be like the red lipstick. Sometimes those stain, and sometimes they don't. Because I don't think well, this one's pretty green. It's creamy right now. I don't think the cat yeah. suit lipstick. I don't think that one will stain. It might just be the red one. But is that only on your lips or is that on your face too? Uh, what I have on my lips is ColourPop, the new Barbie collection. I just did a oh. video uh, for lip for lipstick Friday, and I unboxed um, a ColourPop order and I, the Barbie collection, and plus a couple of other items, um, and I. This is one of the lipsticks, and I just left it on, you know. So, but anyway, that video is going to, I'm going to upload that and edit that and get that out uh, later on today. Because, you know, today's Friday. So, I always do Lipstick Friday on Fridays, and I do, try to do lip looks. But I'm so backed up on, you know, I've got boxes, you know, that, that I need to unpack. So, I'm combining my content you know, with my normal scheduled events to, you know, make, make it possible up. for me to un unbox everything. Yeah. So. How many boxes do you get? Um, quite a few. Plus I place orders. So, you know, we had our um, stimulus check and our income tax refund. All that money came in. And of course I socked most of it in the bank, but I have placed uh, a few extra orders over the course of the last couple of months. And so, but all that's going to, you know, once I get all that hauled and filmed and everything, then it's just going to be my subscription boxes. But I'm uh, right now I'm facing, I need to organize. I got, you know, stuff I filmed is all on this side stacked up <laughs> and stuff I need to film is on this side, you know, and uh, so I'm kind of crowded right here. And I wanted to get you, some of it. How do, you, how do you organize all the stuff you get? Like, do you have I bins? Sort of, yeah, I've, I've got some bins that I purchased from Walmart. And I've got some cabinets and drawers and stuff like that. But I, I separate the skincare from the makeup. And um, like my ColourPop, I have a drawer just for ColourPop stuff. And then, you know, you just, um, I mean, I try to group things together if I can, but I just have so much right now. It's just, you know, it's crazy. So I need to slow down on the, on the hauling and the buying, but you see so many things that's coming out, you know, nowadays that's so... When I was talking about oh, earlier, look at that, your that, face. That. you look so cute. Thank you. You look so <laughs> cute. You look so cute. She looks like Catwoman. <laughs> that's, what, that's what Teresa said. I thought she looked like Catwoman. Like the and then the blue. Um, but I was going to say 2020, 2020 was like every, every company, makeup company, stepped up their game. But they also came out with so many launches. Like, it was hard what to say yes to and what to not say yes to. I know. And I didn't buy near as much as what I wanted. But um, I'm a collector. I'm, you know, there's, I have some things that I've collected that I have n never used, you know, just because I want to keep it looking new. And if I do dip into it, you know, it's just on a very, you know, occasional event. And then I just try to keep it clean and neat and in the box, you know, and, uh, but I've got, I'm a, I'm a palette collector. I love palettes and I love lipsticks and I love blush. I love the colored, uh, you know, all the colored parts of makeup. Well, I mean, I I've love been all into makeup. Green but blushes you, lately. you have? Yeah, I, 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 it started out with 
the Jordana one, the Jordana cream blush, and then it kind of grew from there. I mean, I don't I only have like three or four of them, but I really like how they blend out mm -hmm. with the brush. Yeah, it seems like yes. with the powder, it, it if you don't go in light handed, it's like pigmented where the cream just seems like it you can work with it better. Do you, you like do the ones you that you can use on your cheeks and your lips? Yes, I like them. Mm -hmm. Like this one, I There's think. There's one. Do you have the little uh, cheek and lip palette from Seraphine Botanicals? Do you have that no. one? It is a beautiful palette. Let me show it to you. Do you like cream blushes it's or cream products? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, here it is right here. It's called the Rhubarb. Let me get it to where you can see it. It's called the Rhubarb and Rose palette. And, of course, it's a botanical, you know, Seraphine botanical. So, it's all um, natural. But, anyway, there are the shades. Let me see. You have to kind of They're go all opposite. creams? They're all creams, and you can use them on the cheeks and the lips. This palette is awesome. Yeah, they're beautiful the shades, too. Yeah, it's all, all botanical, vegan, cruelty-free, non-comedogenic, you know, all the good stuff. And they use natural ingredients like raspberry and blackberry extracts to create the colors. Oh, really? And it, I mean, they're just beautiful. I mean, the way that they blend out. Here, let me just... Let's try one. I got I got a cheek available here. All right. Let's go. Let me go in with this one shade. It's called um What is the name of this? I thought the names were on the back of the palette. Maybe they're on the box. I threw the box away. I need to see if I can't find like on like Macari or something, one of those, because they're like the shades that I like, because I don't like like the hot pink or hot red. I like like the orange, peachy, like, yeah, pink, like those colors <laughs> for blood. All right. I don't have the names, but I will tell you some of the ingredients. So they have, it's like, skin quenching ingredients like pure uh, shea butter vitamin e and candela wax and um, it helps hydrate you know your skin and protect your skin so anyway i'm just going to go in with this one here on the end it's kind of a peachy red like and i'm just going to show you just how beautiful this is so there there i am just a little dab on my finger there and i'm just gonna go right in and, of course, it's pigmented, you know, and it looks like, you know, a clown almost when you first put it on. But watch how it blends. And it is, and all it takes is that little bit. And, I mean, you've got probably enough for both cheeks. It's, it's beautiful, though. And then you... If like if you put your foundation on with a brush, you can take your foundation brush and just go around the edges and just soften, you know, the color a little bit. But look at that. Oh, my gosh. I love it. It's beautiful. I mean, and these products. Let me just take what's left over and put it right there in that spot. This palette right, is, it, it's, a, it's a game changer. I mean, it changed everything about my, you know, I don't use it every day. I still use powders. I'm a variety person. I like variety. But, yeah. um, oh my gosh. I mean, if you're not a cream lover after using that palette, then, you know. I'm glad know you showed me though, because I, know, I saw their eyeshadow palette, but I never saw that blush palette. And, uh, but this blush palette came in a subscription box and I was so glad I had to get it. How long ago? Like, is it still? I mean, we're talking about 
stay all day. I mean, stay all day. That color will. And it's a beautiful color. And the, all the shades are beautiful. They're all pretty. And you didn't even have that much on your finger. Yeah. That's it, Teresa. We're getting ready for the 4th of July. So Memorial Day, when Memorial Day rolls around, I start gearing up for the 4th of July. And I'm thinking those two holidays are like a month apart, right? So this is a look that, you know, we're posting this uh, for um, Memorial Day weekend. But you can definitely duplicate, you know, or get inspired by, you know, what we're doing today for the 4th of July. Right. I think that's great that you can use it for both holidays. All right. I'm going to do a little bit on my forehead. And just I'm kinda... sorry. Sorry it's taking me what? so long. Oh, no, that's all right. We're no stress. That's what the live is all about. It's about just being relaxed. It You got to get to, <clears throat> you know, you're not under pressure to do a 15-minute video, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, and, and we don't I have need to, to, edit. I need to learn how to go live by myself sometimes, though, because I've been going live with other ladies and gentlemen so much that I forget what it's like to just go live by myself, because it's so nice to have somebody to talk to, and if people aren't responding as soon as you ask something, you're not sitting there looking at the chat waiting for something to come through to talk about. I mean, look at in the beginning, I didn't even know you pressed live. We were just talking. <laughs> and I knew, I knew the other day when we were on the phone chatting and trying to get everything set up, I was like, we're not going to have any problems finding something to talk about. Oh no, no. Cause time flew when we were talking that day. I didn't realize we were on the phone that long. How long were we Your on the phone that day? I think you told me to give you a call at like 1030 and we were on the phone. So your husband came home. I think it was like close was to one. Yeah. So yeah, like two hours. Yeah. Oh, it didn't good. feel like two hours. Crystal says you'd be great, Jamie. For what? I don't know. What did you mean by that, Crystal? You'd be great. I don't remember. She, it was her last comment. She'll explain here in a second. Oh, she might be talking about going live by myself. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. by yourself. There it is right there. It's just so... My biggest fear when doing a video or going live on YouTube is like dead silence. Like, what do I say? I don't know. I think dead silence just scares me. I don't want to just sit there. Yeah. Like, um, um, um. No. And you don't. You don't want to have dead air. Yeah. Yeah. So the thing of it is, is that you need something to unbox. Uh, of course, if you're live, you're going to, your people are going to come in and your uh, viewers are going to be chatting with you. So that's going to help. And, uh, and a lot of times they'll ask you questions and that'll prompt you to, you to speak. And, um, then if you're unboxing or doing some fun um, challenge questions or anything like that to keep you talking. You know, the girls on Mask Mondays, a lot of them have said, uh, well, I don't know what to talk about, you know. And, and they're not even live, you know, but they're like trying to find content, you know, things to talk about in their videos, you know. So it's, 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 it's across the board. Everybody's like that. You know, Mary Catherine and I were talking because I said I really want to do Mass Mondays, but I'm a really a, I guess a newbie or non-experienced when it comes to skincare. So I don't want to give any like false information or say anything wrong. So when you're doing a mask, I'm also afraid of what to talk about because I don't know about skincare. I'm trying to well, learn. That's where I come in. That, that's where I come in. I'm going to help you with some of that. 
Okay. Look at I this. hope you don't get Look tired of my little. My doe foot applicator just fell off the wand, y'all. From who? Who is that from? This is the ColourPop one. And it broke? Ugh. The Didn't doe foot you, is that just the one broke right off the bought? stick. Let me see if I can still use the stick. <laughs> or put a is paintbrush in there. Is that the one from the Barbie collection? No, no. It did um the Barbie collection uh didn't include a a concealer. I just can't believe it broke. It just fell right off. I guess I put too much pressure on it. I don't know. It's not made for this. That concealer doe foot applicators are not made for face painting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. I got a backup of this concealer. But I, not they're not concealer. Right they're not concealer applicators, but I have a couple, um, like a handful of the applicators that, you, like, if you are using lipstick and you don't want to use like the applicator that's in there. Like if you're using it like on clients and stuff like that, like a like a throwaway applicator. If you need a couple of those, I can send them to you. They look like lit like the liquid lipstick or um, okay lip gloss applicators, and you just stick it like in the tube. It's pretty much like yeah, that. But I can send them to you if you like. That'd be awesome. I have an eyeliner brush, which is really super skinny, but let me just see what happens. Teresa. Teresa says she's doing um, her bucket list on Mask Mondays. So that's a suggestion, you know, on what to talk about. Hmm. I mean, you'll help me, like, learn what the ingredients do. Well, what listen, doing. right right now, to just begin, my suggestion is take a sheet mask or whatever kind of mask you have, cream mask or peel off or whatever, and don't worry about trying to explain or teach or any of that kind of stuff, but just apply it and use it on camera and then just talk about whatever you want to talk about you know it could be a would you rather questions or a tag challenge or an unboxing you know while the mask is on your face and you're waiting for it to dry or whatever and, okay. uh, and just be easy on yourself you know don't worry about you know trying to teach or you know anything like that i mean not not everyone um you know is is a skincare teacher you know so don't put that kind of pressure on yourself all right but i mean like you know how it feels when you take the mask off right away but are you supposed to come back and like say like it's been 12 hours and it still feels this way or it doesn't feel this way or just like are you supposed you to do like to. A, no no, you don't have to. I mean, you could, you know, like if you were doing like a test, you know, like some sort of appeal or whatever. But, um, you know, just keep it simple. Just do some simple sheet masks or um, do a, a cream mask, like one of those overnight ones where you just put it on and leave it. And, you know, just take it easy on yourself. And just begin, you know, because... This is my motto, <laughs> and I just adapted this motto this year. Make progress. Don't strive for perfection. Just make progress. Just begin. Just take a step or two and just begin. And a lot of times that's the hardest thing is just taking that first step because we're looking at the whole forest and, you know, it's like we see all the trees in the forest all at once and it's overwhelming, you know, and you just need to focus on one thing, you know, that one, that one main thing. 
I'm excited about those. I think those ones that go like underneath your eyes, those look really cool. I like how they look when they're in like the jar. And they look like that like, yin yang thing. You mean like they go when they're in the jar? Yeah. Yeah. But they look like they feel there so neat. Go. See, there you go. You got the problem solved right there. Start with an eye mask and and just get on there and have something to talk about, you know, planned. And then you can always fill in, you know, tell stories or, you know, whatever. You know, people just, the, the, you're, you're creating a brand around yourself. So people want to get to know you and they want to know about your life and, you know, the things that you think about and care about and what your passions and your pursuits and your desires are, you know, your hopes, your dreams, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I mean, you know, just share, just share, you know, whatever's on your mind. Like you and I've been talking about your upcoming trip to your son's wedding, you know, and how you want to hug your son. I mean, there you go. You got content right there, you know, around you as a brand. Oh, thank you. Talk about your dad. Talk about your computer skills. Talk about. I feel like this look needs something else. <coughs> Let's see. Miss hmm. Teresa. I need. I got a boo boo. A boo boo? Yeah, it's. I made a mistake when that thing broke, and there's like a glob right here. So I'm going to try to cover it up. Crystal said, I agree, Lori. Awesome motto. Oh, yeah. Strive for. You know, progress, not perfection. I mean, we get so bogged down. We put too much pressure on ourselves. I think you came up with an amazing idea, though, when you put the hashtag mask money ladies. Thank you. I mean, that's huge. A lot of people know about Mask Money Ladies. A lot of people don't know about hashtags either. I mean, they see hashtags that are being used by other companies, but like to create one, you know, that you could refer back to or that's going to help people navigate, you know, toward yeah. a grouping of something. Yeah, they just don't know about it. How many people or do you not know? are in like the group of hash or hashtag mask money ladies on well i think there's a bunch i mean there's probably 50 or 60 but on the average monday there's probably about 30 something that post you know like not everybody posts uh, mask monday every single monday you know they yeah. may do one you know whenever they can or whenever they get around to it or whatever but um, so, you know, if you're committed to watching all the Mask Monday videos, just type in the hashtag and it pulls up everyone that's used the hashtag. It'll pull them up in a grouping and then you can filter it and you can say, uh, at the filter, you can put, uh, today or this week when, you know, whatever. And then you could drop those into, um, uh, you know, a playlist, or you could just group them all together into, um, well, you when you click you can... on, when you click on the hashtag mass money ladies, it almost makes a playlist for you because it takes you to like a whole new page where you see all the people that are in it. So it's almost like there is a playlist because of that hashtag. Well, it's not actually a playlist. It's a, it's a list that or a page where they're all grouped together. But, you know, like a playlist on your channel, you'd have to create that. But um, oh, no, I just you know how like, there's an icon? I just mean like down in your description bar, you don't have to have like a playlist set up to go watch everybody in there. If you click on that hashtag, 
it shows you everybody yeah. in there. Yeah. So it's almost actually uh, better you, than the playlist. Kind of, in a way. The only thing is, is if you, um, if your computer crashes or if you um, uh, have to shut the computer down, then of course you lose your place, you know, on where you were on who you've watched and, and uh, who's left to watch. And so, you know, those little icons uh, on the video window that say watch later. And um, there's another one that, where you could uh, like set up. A, a, it's like a run, you know, you can run through the videos back to back one right after the other. I forgot what it's called, but anyway, you can click on that one, and what it does is it sets up the videos to play. Like you could be busy, you know what I mean, doing things, and yeah. you could the videos will all play. Of course, you're not gonna, um, you know, like on your TV, YouTube TV, or whatever, but you're not gonna be able to make a comment um, unless you're sitting down, you know, right there in front of it. And if you don't right. finish your comment before the video ends, then it's going to go on to the next video and you're going to lose your comments. So anyhow, you have to um, work with, you know, how it's set up, but it's really handy, I think. But if you wanted to create it into a playlist on your channel where you could get back to it, you know, or if you wanted to save them all, like say everyone that did uh, Mask Monday from, from this last Monday, you know, I could save it and um and create a playlist and you know have a date or whatever and i've done that before you know and then it takes me two or three days to watch everybody's videos you know but i like doing that on occasion i'll watch everybody's everyone that's done a mask monday in our you know small youtube community and i try to subscribe to all those channels too because i'm really big on mask mondays that's like one Is of there my main things. Like an original group yeah like, is there, like, an original yeah, not, ladies that only did Mask Mondays until you went Mask Monday yeah, ladies? There were, there were just a handful. There was about, I don't know, there were four or five people that were doing it. I've done it for, like, over two years. But then I discovered that there were four or five more that had uh, band together to commit to doing it. And I was like, you know, I'm getting in on this because, you know, this is my jam right here, you know. And yeah. of they accepted they accepted me, you know, and it's really, it started through Nina, just Nina. She kind of organized it and, and just in Lois, life with Lois's, she, yeah. she helped. And then Kimmy, Kimmy's boxes, she helped, you know, pull people together. And so through, through the group of us, you know, we started promoting it and I created the hashtag and then it just exploded after that. So there's probably... I mean, it's not viral or anything, but there's about, there's probably about 60 people that, that I know of that, you know, that, that does it. Thank you, Miss Teresa. That is so awesome. She is so encouraging. You have a gift of encouragement on your life. Mm -hmm. Everybody really is sweet here. But anyway, um, is everybody gonna... from the original Mask Monday lady still doing it? Um, pretty much. But you know, it's Mask Monday is a is been around for a while. I don't think any one of us can actually say we are the creator of it. You know, because it's been around for a while, and of course, I've been doing it for about two years, but. Um, you know, even back then, you know, I wasn't the creator of it. I just, I just like the way it sounded, <laughs> you know, because I'm like that. I'm like the M, you know, Mask Monday, Try It On Tuesday, you know. That's how I am Wednesday. too. You know how. I and sit so here just thinking kind of... about catchy, catchy titles. You can ask Crystal, like before we a nice come ring, up with a you new, know, as you say. Before we come up with like a new thing that we want to do. I don't like if it's not catchy, if it just doesn't roll off your tongue. Like I have like, I, I need to be, what do you call it? I can't think in the mornings for some reason. 
Like I need to be more stronger. Like uh, what? What is that word? There's like one word where I need. Like I have things set that I want to do, but I need to push myself to do it. Yeah. I'm trying to think discipline. of one word. Yes, I need to be more discipline. disciplined. Mm. Yes. What happened? We switched screens. I'm on the right now. Oh, I went to go get rid of a notification. And all you have to do is slide the screen and we move. Like you push on your picture and move to the side you want to be on. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter to me what side I'm on. I just thought, I, I just noticed the change. I was like, how did that happen? Yeah, I went to go get rid of a notification. I think I pressed on the picture and slid it. Yeah, you Hi, just have Lois, to slide. How are you? Good morning, Lois. Yes, Crystal. Yes, Crystal, if you, the hashtag that if you want to get your videos viewed, um, you know, by everyone that's in the group that knows about it, you know, can find your um, Mask Monday video. If you just use, it's hashtag Mask Monday Ladies. And you just put that in your description or your title, or you could add it uh, down at the bottom of your video when you're editing where it says just more. Or and and it, you know there's a box down there for your tags and you can tag it down there. Um. So what's up, Lois? The hashtag things are they supposed to be in your title and in your description or one or the other? Just one or the other. I just do both because. That's just how I am. You know, I, I, I always match my title and my, uh, the, I, I head up my description with, um, you know, a duplicate of my title. Cause I just started with the hashtags. Somebody told me you really need to start hashtagging. So I just started, but I always sit there and wonder what's like the best hashtags to use. And if I'm doing the wrong one. Or... Yeah. Well, use the hashtag. Like if you're using uh, promoting a certain company, like say, for instance, the cream shop. <laughs> and you're using one of their masks. You could um, hash use the hashtag that they use on Instagram, you know, and you could. Uh, and that way they'll see it. They'll know that you used their mask. And, uh, and then, of course, everyone can go to that hashtag on Instagram and pull up all, all the stuff that's been posted, you know. You say uh, they'll see it. Do they get a notification when you use the hashtag? Or do you mean, like, if they click on the hashtag, then they'll mm -hmm. see it? Or do Both. they, like, when you Both. use their, like, if you use the Krem Shop, hashtag the Krem Shop, does it send like a notification to them or is it only if they if click you follow, on? You know how you, when you go to Instagram, how you follow people? Well, you follow the hashtags too, see, and then you'll get a notification. It's really cool how it's all set up. It sounds like it. It's only, it's only 45 and wet here in Michigan. So staying in and watching my amazing friends. Ah, that's sweet, Lois. There's a lot of people on YouTube in Michigan. Crystal's in Michigan. Yep. And I think there we have a, several friends in our in our YouTube community that live in Michigan. I I was born in Michigan. Really? Yeah, I was born in Detroit. How long, how long have you been? In the or south, I, yeah. Since I was a kid, my dad moved our family here when I was ten. But the first ten years of my life, and then of course, you know, as a teenager, I was going to see my grandparents, and you know, but uh, yeah, that's where my birth certificate. My birth certificate's actually from a hospital in Dearborn, Michigan, but we lived in Detroit the whole time. My dad was in the Navy, so I was born in California. My sister was born in Hawaii, but we've been in pretty PA pretty much all my life. I don't even, besides the fact that I went on a business trip with my dad, I wouldn't have been able to remember California. We came back, I was 
too young. Well, Pennsylvania is a pretty state. Lots of good history there, too. I know. It's just when you've been here all your life. You're bored. Get... You need a road trip. I'm really you bored. You need a road trip. Like, I'm so bored it makes me not like the state I live in because it's just, I need to get out. Yeah. You need to get out of the house. Yeah, I do. This trip... This, this trip for your uh, going to your son's wedding, that's going to do you more good than you'll know. I don't know if I want to come back. <laughs> well, you might decide to move. Who knows? <laughs> it happens, you know. My mm -hmm. sister went to Florida and she loved it so much she finally moved there. So now she lives in Gainesville. I think Florida would be a beautiful place to live. It's hot and humid. The only thing I hear about face painting is it seems like you always get like an itch on your face that you can't itch. Or you'll mess it all up. Let me try a cute tip. Don't scratch. There we go. <laughs> It always happens. You get almost done with a look, and then you're like, oh, I got an itch. And if you're not thinking, you actually do itch it. You rub it all away. <coughs> Sorry. Cold and rainy. It's been raining here, too. It rained all night long. There's big old mud puddles out there. It's a, it rained no. two days ago. Well, the day before yesterday. And it's supposed to rain all day today and I think tomorrow, too. Wow, that's too much rain for me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in the spring, sometimes in the spring here, the dam gets really full, and um, the riverbanks flood. You know. Yeah. Does it get really hot there? Yeah, but not as hot as Florida. I mean, Florida, where my sister lives, it gets so hot that. In the afternoons, it rains just to, you know, cool, cool things off. But then it's so humid rest of the day that it's like it's like walking around with a raincoat on. Uh, it's all sticky, humid, you know. Yeah, that would make me miserable. I prefer a I, drier climate. Pennsylvania gets like really, really bad winters, like blizzards. And then in the summer, it's like super hot. And I'm not, I'm a fall person. I like those days we barely ever get. Where it's like low 70s and breezy and it's just beautiful. Yeah, those perfect weather days. Hey, Miss yeah. Jen. There's my buddy, Miss Jen. How you doing? Hi, Jen Jackson. How are you? Look at all them hearts. Somebody loves us. Jen, I like, um, she's beautiful. I mean, look at her picture. Yes. And she's so sweet. Yes, yeah, she she's is. So sweet. She's so beautiful. I'm going to nickname her, though. I'm going to call her Miss Shantakai. <laughs> Shantakai? That sounds pretty. Yeah, because she loves, she loves, she loves Shantakai makeup. Doing good, just enjoying a cup of coffee and hanging out. All right. I don't even know yeah. who Santa Clara is. Here's here's to friends. It's I'm I don't know if it's a person or not. Share with us, Jen. Share with us what you know about Santa Clara, other than the <laughs> fact that it's a really bougie makeup brand. All right, I need your opinion on something. Okay. The look that I kind of went with. She kind of outlined everything 
like in black, like around the wings and around the circles and like she kind of like outlined everything in black. Do you think that would ruin it? Like she just let it be? Or do you think it would look better if I outlined it in black? Hmm. I was thinking definitely like the body should be outlined in black, but I don't know about the wings. What just do you try, think? Try a, try a small area and see what happens and then you'll kind of, you know, maybe get some confidence or, you know, see how it's going to go. Okay, she says she is a person. She runs this company with her family, and they are into philanthropy to help save the earth and animals. Their stuff is very expensive, but very worth it, in my humble opinion. You're not the only one that thinks that it's worth it. Um, do you watch Rose and Ben on Instagram stories? She is an amazing artist. Well, she loves the Chantecaille powder. Uh, it's not the only powder that she uses, but she likes it really well. She recently was uh, sharing with us how much she enjoys it. Where does it come from? I don't know where Jen orders it. If she orders it straight from their company or if she goes into a certain store to pick it up or where. I've never ordered it. You have to share with us, Jen. Where do you get it at? All right, I'm going to go around the body and then see, like you said, if I think I can make it look better or worse around the wings. Yeah, just try a small piece and then see what happens. So does your husband know you're doing this or is he walking home into it? I mentioned it to him, but I'm sure it's not even on his mind. So when he walks in the door... He will, you know, the visual of it is probably going to surprise him. I think yours came out so good. I'm not done. I'm not done. And I loved it because I was like, I don't expect anybody to face paint. And you're like, okay, let's face paint. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's in. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell when you opened up our conversation with, I don't expect you to face paint with me when you, that was the first thing you said i was like that's she's letting me know that that's what she really likes and i was <laughs> like okay I'm gonna, jump, I'm gonna jump on this train here i'm gonna face paint with her are you having fun with it though oh yeah all right Good. i'm gonna change i'm gonna change my lipstick and i'm just gonna go over what i have on i'm gonna go in with this one from color pop it's called uh uh, the I Love Sarai, the ColourPop. It's an ultra matte lip. It's an old, from an older collection, but I hardly ever use it. It's called a rebuy, a rebuy. It's anyway, a beautiful it's a super bright, super bright I, red. And, I need to get ColourPop stuff. The only thing I own from ColourPop, and I love it, so I don't know why I don't try more of their stuff, is the No Filter Foundation. It's my exact match. It's my color, like. First time trying it, and it's like my color to the T. It's like the only one I put on anymore because with the weather and everything, it's like it's so hard to find. Like, as soon as I find like the foundation that works for me, then the weather changes, and then you have to go lighter or darker. But this one just always seems to work for me, no matter what the weather is. Is that because of the no filter part? Do you know? You know, foundations are tricky. Let me go back and read what Jen wrote. She says she orders from the site and from Nordstrom. Also, Friends Beauty. She gets a pro discount there. Now, look, that just dry, just lickety split. My lips are already dry. Y'all, This, these ColourPop lippies are amazing. If you like liquid lipsticks that are matte, that dry matte, they are awesome. <clears throat> Teresa says that's a red lippy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It is very bright. Jen says, I think you both look great. You're very talented. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, Jen. I, I feel like I need some like rhinestones or some, um, you know, more glitter or something for this look. 
but I don't have any rhinestones to glue on. I've got some glitter glue. Hmm. So, I mean, I could use that if I had some rhin. I have nail rhinestones, but I don't think they would work. I was just going to say, do you have nail rhinestones? Because that's what I use. You put them on your face? Yeah, I just use lash glue. Lash glue? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you have glitter glue, that might work too. Well, I have both, you know. I use the glitter glue. Glitter, I mean, I use the lash glue because as soon as you put it on, you can pretty much go in then with the gem and it'll stay. I don't, I've never tried the glitter glue though. But I know like until I have to take the look off, they should stay. They won't fall off with the lash glue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've got some uh, rhinestones in the bathroom. I'd have to get up and go get them. I mean, that's up to you. No matter what, I still think what you're doing is beautiful. Well, I was just thinking some rhinestones, like on the ends of all these little fireworks. I was just going to say, know. if you put them at the end there, I think that would really be pretty. Yeah, I thought... Yeah, I think it would be fun, too. Are you going to post the picture on Instagram after you're done? Yeah, we can do that. Yours looks so beautiful. You should keep it on for vacation. Do you guys think that I should um, do my eyebrow here? This eyebrow? I okay. usually do my eyebrows, but I just... Uh, Crystal says, yes, more glitter. Bring on the glitter, baby. Teresa said more, more glitter, more glory. The better we like it. Hmm? Even, Teresa said it too. She said more glitter, Miss Lori. Yeah, yeah, more glitter. Bring on the glitter. All right, I did the body. I outlined it in black. What do you think about the wings? Oh, that looks good. That looks you really good. You think if I did throughout the outside of the wing? Like she Your had eyes it. Look so um, she had it come in like so an each color. Do they? Yeah, they do. That blue on your face really brings out your eyes. My eyes change colors with stuff like I'm wearing and makes it I think because like you said I have the blue on. They turn from yeah. green to blue. It's kinda like a Wonder Woman mask. Here, actually let me my my battery is charged. Let me <laughs> Yeah, you can see it better. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. You think I should outline awesome. it in black? You like it? I like it the way it is, but if you wanted to outline it to define it, you know, that's up to you. But it did make the body of the butterfly look really good. Do you think it would ruin it, though? Like, I don't want to go in and then, like, ruin it, but... If you think it would add to it, then I don't know. I'm at the point now where it's like, is it going to ruin it or save it? <laughs> I don't know either. Let's let's ask our viewers today. Yeah. What do the you think? The front. I agree with Jamie. Either way, it looks great. Jen said, "See, she agrees with me. Either way, you look beautiful. I love what you did, and I love the fact that you jumped right into it. You had the star on before I even had my face paint ready." <laughs> Yeah, we got to get going. We got to get this thing done. Teresa said just do the body. Teresa said to just do the body. Let me go into the bathroom and get my, oh, if I get through here, I got stuff all on the floor. I'll be right back. I'm going to get those rods done. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jen. You like it as it is too. All right, then I won't. It's just it's at that point where you either ruin it or it might look better, and I don't know which one's gonna be. But if you think the body, because I think it brings the body out where the body blended in before. 
Because in the look I was going off of, she didn't come to the body with the wings. It kind of stopped all the way over here, and I didn't like that. But then the body blended in, and I should have did red, white, and blue, because it doesn't go blue, red, and then white, but then it would have just, like, kind of blended across, and you wouldn't see the body either. Can you guys believe that Lori is face painting? I still can't believe she is the age she is. She does not look, she doesn't look it at all. Just sitting here watching her, she does not look, it's hard to believe she's her age. Aw, thank you, Teresa. I probably should have dressed more patriotic. Put like a white or red top on. Or even blue. Thank you, Crystal. And I watched your eight channel giveaway, Crystal. Um, and I commented, but I hope you're not mad. I don't want to enter. I don't want to. Oh, thank you, Mary Catherine. Because you're doing like a gift card and I could never take a gift card from you. Hey. So let the other people enter. But I did comment. Did you find them? Not the ones I was looking for, but I have, I have like these, um, they're like, they're not really called gemstones. They're like, it's almost like a nail sequin, but they're really tiny. I and love I the sequin on your coat. shirt. Yeah. I just saw your shirt, the sequins on your shirt. That's a beautiful shirt. Okay, I'm going to try. I can't find the ones I'm looking for, though. I don't know what I've done with them. Oh, anyway, I have these awesome. right here. Oh, they are pretty. I have, yeah, so these little blue ones here, I thought they'd be fun. So They'll stand out, too. They'll stand out brighter, too. The blue? Yeah, I think so. I had silver ones, but I thought, no, I'm going to use the blue ones. I have this, like, it's like, um, like a little bottle that it comes in. It's a cute bottle. Yeah, that's but, what a lot well, of these are. A lot of these bottles that I have. I have, like, pink and green and black. and But I have this, like, sequins that are gemstones, official gemstones that have, like, the metal backing. You know what I'm saying? A flat metal black uh, on the back side, and they stick. They're easier to handle, and they stick better. And uh, they come in a like a tray, a circular tray that has like these separators. I don't know. Oh, how to describe here, here, here. It. This thing. Yes, exactly like that. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I like I like I like the way that they store. You know. In those I got these Let me get some. On, um, Sheen. You ever go in Sheen? I have never shopped there. It came in like a pack of three for like $3. There's like three of them. Yeah, the, these, these are like are really... pretty. They're affordable oh. on that website. Anyway, you said I could use um, nail glue, right? No, um, I so use anyway. lash glue. I don't yeah, know how strong nail glue is. I, mean, I use lash glue. I've this duo lash glue here. Yeah. Yeah, you can use that. Okay. And actually, that one dries faster than the one I was 
I have like the duo for my eyelashes, but then I have the kiss because it doesn't seem like it dries out as fast. But yeah. it is dried out, so I don't want to use it for my lashes. So I still keep on using it when I put jewels on instead of throwing it away because you can't use it. It's, like, it's too thick, I guess you could say. It got too too thick to use for your lashes. But there was still stuff in the bottle. So instead of throwing it away, I just use it for the jewels. There you go. Well, I'm about ready for some new nail glue anyway. I'm trying to figure out the... I've got a toothpick here. I'm trying to figure out the best way to apply the glue and then grab a hold of these little sequins. Let's see. It's a du it's a dual ended toothpick. Let me use one side to apply the glue to my face. And then I'll use the other side to pick up the little rhinestones with. And see, these I are so I tiny. Really and the blue. I had like a itch and I went like that and I forgot that it was even on my face. So nothing smeared, I don't think. But I have blue on my finger now. <laughs> you forget about so it. So did, did you decide to stop? Teresa said just do the body, and I think she might be right. I think just doing the body brings the body out so you see it more. Where if I do the outline and all of it, maybe it'll hide the body where it Take won't. Take away from the others, yeah. Yeah. So I think Teresa is correct. Teresa. Teresa. Did you use, like, remember how I was saying I think eyeliner is, like, the best way to do looks? Did you use more liner or more, like, of something else? Teresa uh, says I have to go, ladies. I got to do some dishes. If you're still on, I will come back and chat. Both beautiful face paintings. Love you both and have a great day. Everyone have a love blessed you, and great Teresa. day too. Yeah, I love you, Miss Teresa. Thank you. We for love coming. you. Thank you. Yay. Teresa's amazing. She's really amazing. She comes to a lot of our lives. You were asking mm -hmm. me a question. I forgot what you asked though. Oh, like a lot of my looks, I feel like it's easier to hold a eyeliner. To get more precision, precise. Mm. Did you use eyeliner or did you use other products instead of eyeliner? Both. Both. I used eyeliner and uh, I've got a red and a white and a black eyeliner. And then I used a concealer, like almost a white concealer. And then I used a couple of lipsticks and then I had that silver eyeshadow from e.l.f. Just five or six products. Did you get yeah. the ColourPop concealer? That's what it was by, right? ColourPop? The white, where you were like, you said it was really yeah. white? Yeah. Did they called, send you uh, that? Did you pick that? Because concealers and foundations, I feel like they're hard to pick your color online. Yeah. I ordered this and I ordered an almost white one. I ordered the second lightest shade. It's Fair O2. And I did that on purpose. For your eyeshadow? That's what I've used for the white here. Um, yeah, but you but can you, definitely use it for eyeshadow. Did you use it to put under your eyeshadow? To, like, a lot of people will... Like, I have the Anastasia primer, and it's, like, really... What, like, it's almost like a white, but it makes the shadows pop more. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I use it for that, for eyeshadow primer. Sometimes if I have really dark circles and I just want just another little dot on top of what I've already got just to really brighten, I'll use it for that. But it's really too bright for that. I mean, it's better to use it for eyeshadow, you know, primer instead. Um, Is it easy to blend the eyeshadow on top of it? Yeah, you just have to work with it pretty fast. The ColourPop concealers, um, you know, they they dry down pretty quick. <clears throat> is it so, like a is it like a cream to powder? 
uh, doesn't really turn into a powder, but it is a cream. And uh, anyway, I would suggest before using them that you put a good uh, eye moisturizer on, you know, just to help keep them from creasing and drying out, you know, so quickly. And, uh, or, you know, and then, of course, when you put your primer on for your face, you know. Did you, you go to school on your for, to, learn, to learn skincare? Or is it all self-taught? Self-taught. I've, 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 I've subscribed to uh, skincare videos and people that are like master estheticians, you know, people like that to learn and uh and i read i read blogs and study i yeah. use this mask and it, i didn't even have it on that long and then like a couple of days later i broke out could that be from the mask yeah it could be um sometimes if your skin has um clogged pores and you use a mask that is going to be a pore cleansing or a detoxifying type mask, it will purge your skin and it will cause those impurities to rise to the top and you're going to um, experience, you know, a breakout. And uh, all that means is that you just need to keep going and until it's all, you know, purged out of your skin. So don't be afraid of those things. Um, I know it's but it a way to experience. Does it mean not to use that mask again or to keep using that mask again? Keep using it. Keep using it. Keep using because it because it's one, working. It's this one right here. I got like 10 yeah. of them as like a review kind of thing because I do like reviews and samples and stuff. And I got a box of 10 of them. So I put it on and because you have to take a picture when you do the review. So I put it on and... um. It felt great, and it even felt great the next morning when I woke up. My skin was still, like, really silky and soft. But then the day after that, I got, like, one breakout. And then the day after that, it's, like, another breakout. I'm like, oh, no, I can't use any of them anymore. No, but it's for elasticity, like <laughs> elasticity A Solution Mask. It says it has triple pure natural minerals and amino acids. There's that acid word. Amino acids. <laughs> Hyaluronic acid, amino acids. When they say acids, that scares me. Yeah, it can be intimidating. It really can. Um, I would keep, like, use another one, like, once, just use them, like, once a week and just see if it will help, you know, get all the clogged pores unclogged and, um, I mean, if a rash develops, you definitely don't want to use them again. But if it's just um, your pores being purged, there's nothing to be yeah. afraid of there. You want that. You want that to happen. Do you think I should put a lipstick on, or no? Let it be. Um, I wouldn't do it because it would take away from the butterfly. That's what I was thinking too. It would look like what is that under the butterfly? <laughs> like I didn't Lois think so either. Lots of patience. Oh, I just have fun Lois, with it because I just look at it. I look at it like makeup. Just have fun with it. You can always remove it and start over or do something different, but mm -hmm. it's removable. It's not permanent. That's, that's right. My cellar water is your friend. Is toners your friend? Oh, absolutely. Thank you I for coming, right Jen. Thank you, Miss Jen. Love you. Yeah, my I know this toner gets everything. everything that the wipes or the micellar water didn't get. It's like toner gets everything else. I love toner. Um, uh, my my ride or die toner is the one from Clinique. It's uh, the Formula 2 for combination skin. I've used it for oh. years. I love it. It's like it, it's like my best friend. Is it this one? Yep. That's it. I love it. I love it. Because it has like an oilish. It's like, it has like an oil in it. 
So it helps so take everything Is that the micellar water? Off. Well, wait a minute. That's the micellar water. No, it's Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes, and Lips. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, like a micellar water. The toner but, uh, is Formula 2 also, and it comes in a similar looking bottle. But it's all from the same line and uh, for combination skin. Is this their that's, full that's, size? Or I think I got it like in a subscription or Ipsy. Or, is this yeah, a full a size or is this like the deluxe sample? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a sample. It's a travel sample. I love it, though. Yeah, it's good stuff, but the toner is um, a different um, product altogether. But it that one from Clinique though, it is amazing, and their moisturizer. You know that whole three step system that they have is really good. How do you like the jewels? Are they going on pretty easy? Not too bad. What I'm doing is I'm applying the glue with this uh, lip brush here, and then I'm picking up the sequins with the toothpick. You need a wax so, stick. I, I definitely uh, am on a learning curve. <laughs> right here, if you can see it, it's like a wax stick. You can sharpen it. And it just go, You as long as the jewels are fake, well, I mean, it doesn't matter which way they're facing, but if you want to put them on your face so that the jewels are out, like flat, the flat is on your skin and the jewels are outwards, you just press down on the jewel and it picks it up. It sticks to the jewels. That's cool. I have a, uh, like a lip liner. Um, it's a wax pencil for like a lip. Is that for lips? This? It is. I think I have one. No, this I think is just for picking up jewels. Like if you're going to, like say you want to make a blinged out brush, you would put the glue on the brush and then you would use these to place the jewels where you want. I think this is just for picking up jewels. Cool. Because even the picture <laughs> on the on the outside of the pencil is nothing but like the gems. So I think that's just what it's for, is just to pick up jewels. That's good. That's what, if I start using this kind of stuff all the time, I'm going to have to make an investment purchase. But I and do like, clogged up. I have this by Mayron, and I really like this. The white, yeah. You definitely need to have the white if you're going to do face but painting. I'm, I want to get more, in, like, I want to get more, like, I mean, there's good other ones out there, but I want to get, like, more Mayron and uh, actual paint brushes. Crystal sent me paint brushes, so I have real paint brushes. Before, I was using, like, the makeup brushes that were plastic feeling, like the cheaper ones that feel more like plastic. I was using those mm -hmm. before. And then I think Crystal went to Hobby Lobby and she got me like a 12 pack of paintbrushes. And a lot of them were like more defining ones. Can't like you use makeup ones. brushes? To do face painting? Can't you use? Yeah. Yeah, but sometimes I don't clean them right away, and I'm always afraid that the paint's going to stain them. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you can use any kind of brushes to do the face painting. It's just that the plastic ones clean easier. I mean, I don't know if they're, what, what they're actually made of. It's not plastic. Uh, maybe, maybe they are. And they're flat, too, right? So that the paint goes on smoother. Yeah, like this. Yeah. 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 It just doesn't like, I don't think it seeps into the brush as much when they're made with like this material. Then they're a lot easier to clean. Especially since there's times where we're alive for so many hours after doing a face painting look. And I'm like, I don't want to clean anything. I just want to go to bed. <laughs>
Okay, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I don't know if you can see the glitter or not. Do you think I need glitter on the or gemstones on the star itself? I just put them like right on the ends of, you know. I think it looks streamer. beautiful. These lips, these ruby red lips. That color lipstick matches your shirt perfect. I think and I, I love your headband too. even has red in it. Yeah, my headband. I got this as a gift and I thought, what's well, perfect, you know, because it's striped. So anyway. Is that, it, go, is it like a headband that goes all the way around or is it like a like this kind of where it's on no, the top? Yeah, it's just the where it presses in right here, you know. Yes, yeah, like one it's of those pretty. ones that's like a half circle. Thank you. It looks like it goes all the way around. Do you think I need lashes today? On both eyes or just the one? I don't know. Just probably both. What it's up to you. One, one oh two. Hey, WTF, Mike, how are you? So it's like 12 o'clock my time. Lois wants to know if me and you are going out shopping now. I think she means oh, me and you. That's, yeah, that's a great idea. Go shopping. I think I am. Lori sounds like lashes. she'd be fun to shop with. I, uh, well, I don't know about that. I, I shop online a lot. You know, as far as like going out physically, like just to spend hours in the store, I don't do that. The one time my uh, son had to go to uh, G, 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 what's that nutrition place? G, G, M, no, it's not GMC, is it? G, G, N, C. That's it. He had to go there. And the mall that he went to, it had like this huge altar. I must have spent an hour in there. And I didn't even get into the store. That was all up near the register. <laughs> I, it would take me hours to go through like an altar. There's so much I in there to see. Right. I mean, I was literally up in like the clearance because they had like um, eyeliners for like two dollars, like two ninety nine. I was up near the clearance section for like probably an hour and seeing like all the sales that they had up there. But I didn't even go into the aisles i think you go show off all the beautiful work i think you should wear it when you go to vacation <laughs> <laughs> it looks really pretty on you i'm gonna i'm gonna wear these big fat lashes i've got they may not stay on for very long but i'm gonna put them on for this look do you wear lashes often? Um, no. Uh, occasionally, I need to wear them more than what I do. But anyway, they're fun. But like, I usually don't take the time to fool with them too much because I'm usually in a hurry. That's the worst time to put on lashes too. Yeah, because then you get impatient and the glue is not tacky enough. And and then you've got issues, you know, trying to get it to stay. Yeah. Anyway. The one time, a couple times probably, I was getting ready to go live and forgot about my lashes and wanted to put them on right before we went live. And it's like brushing, that's when everything goes wrong and they're all over the place and they're crooked and... Brushing is the worst thing for when you're putting on lashes. Yeah, and then you got a mess. A mess. Mess. And you have glue all my over the place. Lois says, my brain works faster than my texting. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. What did you ask me? Um, Jamie, what did you ask me? If you wear lashes Something every day? Glue. Oh, the glue? I answered that. Yeah. Did you ask me something about the glue? 
I don't think so. Okay. Do you use the, the squeeze bottle one from Duo? So they're gonna squeeze it's bottle. It's like a little tube. Uh, you should get this so. one. It's, it's this little, little tube. You should get this one from Duo. It has like it a has little like eyeliner applicator kind of like thing. Like a plastic, like like a plastic one, like that. Yeah. And um. Did, this one that's did you blue. Get that at Walmart? Yeah. And this one is a quick set. Yeah, I got this one at Walmart. But it's a quick set. As soon as you put it on the lashes, you can pretty much put the lashes on your eye. You don't have to wait till it dries down at all. If you go right from the putting the glue on the lash and then putting the lash on your eye, it'll stay. Hey Zach. Is it the KISS brand? No, it's duo. Um, I have I heard, a Kiss one too. I heard that. I heard that Kiss has a good one. I know they came out with a pen liner, like an eyeliner pen. I think it's Kiss. People seem like they're changing over to that eyeliner where they just put the glue right on their eye and then take the lash and put it on. Because I see a lot of companies coming out with like. Um, lash glue pen liners, but then I also see that they're like glitz glam. They're coming out with colored ones. Yeah, it's so like a spinoff line... from the magnetic. Uh, you know the yeah. magnetic lashes. It's like a spinoff from the magnetic Them. lashes. Yeah. The only thing I don't like about, and I mean, I I like it both ways, but the only thing I don't like about the liner pen is if you don't place the lash on right, it's it has to stay there. When the glue's on the lash, you can kind of maneuver it a little bit. Yeah. But if you put it on your lid, and then you put the, lid, the lash on there, if it's not where you wanted it, it's pretty much staying. I see that would be a drag for me. Yeah. I I like the old-fashioned way of putting it on the lash, and then, I mean, I don't know. I guess it's whatever makes people more comfortable. That's I've the been... beauty of makeup. There's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> What's wrong, Zach? Mr. J said, great job, Lori. Well, thank you. I'm trying. Did we bring you over to the dark side? Is this the dark side? Yeah, face painting. You crossed over to the dark side. You think you'll do more why, looks? Why why do you call it dark? I don't know. I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe we should call it the bright side. <laughs> there we go. I like the way that sounds a lot better. Yeah. I don't even know if we actually okay. say dark dark side at all. I think we just say we got you to cross over. Dark side. Because me and Crystal, mm -hmm. we love face painting, but it took a lot to bring I, Tammy I've over. I've always loved it. I've always loved it. I've done it for years. You know, I've just haven't never done it on YouTube, you know, as a part of makeup content. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had my granddaughter do makeup on a video. I don't know if I would trust her with face paint, though. She'd probably just <laughs> color in the whole face. <laughs> Do you guys think I need to do this eyebrow with some eyebrow pencil? Oh my god, not not an eyebrow pencil. You could do like a red, white, and blue brow. All right, great idea. I great colored in my brow, so I can't do it. <laughs> but I think it would look beautiful <laughs> on your look. I just feel like that eyebrow, this eyebrow needs to be defined. Let's go with, um, let me start with the white. And uh, then I can like add something to it. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner. 
Who is it by? Color Pop. It's the Color I Pop got, Cream Gel Eyeliner. Yeah, I have. I got that little set that they sold. It's like the light colors, um, like the light pink, the light blue, the white. Oh, and I, I like I their that. formula. Huh? Yeah. There was like I'm, six I'm, of I'm them for it. 36, I think it was. But then it was on like sale I'm for 20. It. They sell it's out so quickly. Though. They do. They really do. I just wish they're... Don't they feel small to you? Yes. I kind of wish they were a little bit longer. Yeah, kind of thin-like, you know? Yeah. Like, when you hold them up against the rest of your pencils, they're just... They feel so tiny. I mean, I guess they're normal, because I'm holding it up to a NYX one, and they're about the same size. It just... It looks so small. You should go to a doctor, Zach. We went out on the boat the other day. We were out there for over like eight hours. And I'm peeling. I hate peeling. It's like I just don't want to peel it, but then I can't help it. It bothers me. <laughs> How do you like it? Those lashes look pretty on you. That's funny. Yeah, they're va va voom, aren't they? They're like the biggest lashes I own. They really, they really look good. I know, Zach, but you don't want your stomach to hurt. I don't like seeing doctors either. Take some Pepto Bismol. I. I Take some Pepto Bismol or an antacid or something. Yeah, I agree. No, I I kind of wait until the latest I can possibly wait, wait to go to a doctor, too. I'm just as bad. I shouldn't talk. So when was the last time you did face painting on, like you said, like at like carnivals and stuff? Um, it's been a year or two. I think it was for like a church carnival type event. You know, painting the kids' faces and stuff and... So anyway, I think I'm pretty much done. I wanted this side of my face to look be more normal. You know, the I mean, this side right here and this side right here is the side I really wanted to like go all out on. But I think it could be more sparkly. But anyway, we'll have to work on that. I think the pictures on Instagram will do it more justice than the Facebook Live. Um, so but anyway, you look gorgeous. Oh, I love yours. You like I love yours. I feel like I'm better fly. I feel like I'm leaving something out. But then I feel like if what I touch it, I'm gonna ruin it. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, sometimes sometimes less is more, you know? Yeah. But, you but look, I keep looking at it and I'm like, it could use something. What do you think? Just don't know what that's Probably jewels or glitter on top of it. <laughs> but to go over like, each shade. Like inside the little stars and stuff, that would be cute. You think gems or glitter? Uh, either one. Just anything to bring some sparkle in those little bitty stars. You know, that'd be cute. I actually have, um, I think I have red and blue. And silver glitter, maybe going in, which like right here where it's red, like doing a red glitter. And then well, I didn't do blue stars. I got an itch. Yeah. But then maybe putting like blue, blue glitter in the white stars and maybe. 
Yeah, anything Maybe. like that would be pretty. Mukbangs and more says next month he has to go to the dentist. And I'm dreading Oh, I don't that. like oh, no joke. I don't... don't like dentists. But I think yours looks stunning. Stunning. Thank you. I do. I'm glad I decided to do this other eyebrow. Did you do red, white, and blue? I think I see red, white, and blue. I did red and white stripes, and then I outlined it with a black eyeliner just to define it. I like I it. Put any blue. I didn't put any blue in it at all. I like it like that. Thank you. I was trying to emulate my headband, you know? And you did a good job. I love that you face paint it with me. Yay! What are you laughing at, Miss Crystal? <laughs> and the weird thing is, is like, I never even, like, you never have pictures that you did face painting, so I never even knew it was in you. So that's pretty cool. You brought out think, the creativity. Like, I think things happen for a reason, and the fact that we share that connection, I, I just think that's amazing. It is awesome. She's laughing at Zach about his dread. Oh, the dentist. dentist. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The dentist, the dentist, the dentist is not, that's not pleasant. It's never pleasant to go to the dentist. No. But then if you push it off, then it's even more dreading to go when it gets worse. I, I have like double back surgery, neck surgery, sh shoulder surgery, but a toothache, that's the worst. It is. It I'm really a baby. is. I'm a baby when it comes to mouth pain. Do you see this chewed up box? Yeah. My dog got into this box and chewed it. What was it? A chihuahua. I had two chihuahuas and the boy, he liked to get in. He liked to get into my purse or, you know, if he got some little something that I had thrown in the trash or. If something was sitting in the floor, like a box of makeup or whatever, he just liked to steal. One day, I looked over in his bed, and he had some sanitary napkins and a headscarf that I had in my purse. He had drugged those things out and took them to his bed. <laughs> and I'm like, dog, you are too much. Oh, my. Does he have hiding just, spots, too? It's just a treasure, you know, they just think it's a treasure. Whatever, whatever you touch, whatever is yours, you know, any food that you're eating is got to be tasting better than what they're eating. And, you know, so they'll sit in the floor and wait for a crumb to fall. It doesn't even matter if it's a piece of a cucumber or, you know, a bite of lettuce or whatever. I mean, they just love it, whatever it is. Yeah, and when they give you that sad look, it's like you just... Feels so bad, you just want to give it to them. Because they just have that look like, please. And I can't, I can't feed, they're only six pound dogs and you can't just feed them table food because there's too much sodium and there's too much fat and it causes them to gain weight and it, and it makes them sick and they, they don't live a very long life. They're not like a big dog where you could just feed a big dog almost like you would a pig, you know, the table scraps off the table. You can't do that with little dogs. So you have to be careful. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm done. I want, are, are I you want done? a teacup Yorkie. I'm done. I would love to have a teacup Yorkie. That's like my favorite. Oh, yeah. They're oh, sweet. They're yeah, I'm done. Hours, but they're sweet. I think I, I'm not going to do any more. I think I'm just going to let it go. But, so two hours was good, right? Oh, two, yeah, we're two actually hours on. Minutes. We're actually on for two hours and twenty-five minutes now. 
So um, not bad, huh? Oh, I see no. the timer now. Yeah. So do you want to call it a day? Yeah, I think I'm ready because Terry's going to be home in about 10 minutes and I need to clean up here and, you know, get ready for. Well, thank you for going live with me. Yay, we had fun. I, I did. I really enjoyed this. Thank you. And thank you, everybody, You're for welcome. coming. Yes, thank you, everybody, for coming. Lois, Mr. Muckbangs and more, Miss Crystal, we love y'all. Appreciate y'all so much. God bless you today is my prayer. And love we'll you guys. Again. We'll we'll do this yes. again, Crystal. And I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look for you now on Mask Monday. Me? Get your get your eye patches ready. Alrighty, I'm gonna start okay. the beginning of June. Even the if first it's a ten minute video, even if it's just a ten minute video, you know what I'm saying? Just I'm doing progress. It. I'm doing Yay. it. First first Monday you, in June. I'm doing it. And use the hashtag. Use the hashtag. I will. I will. Mask Thank you. Monday ladies. I love you. Thank you for inviting me. This is awesome. We're going to have to do it again. Definitely. Thank you. And you got you got my number now, so you can text me. I definitely will. And um, drive safe, please. Plus, we're on Instagram. Plus, we're on Instagram, too. So. Yeah, we definitely. I'm glad stuff. we met each other. <clears throat> I'm really happy okay, we met we each other. But Have I'm a great gonna, day, sweetheart. I love you. You Talk too. To love you. Later. Bye, everybody. Yes, I do have a channel. I do have a channel, Mr. Muckbangs and more. I do have a channel. Lots of content. Been on uh, YouTube for about four years now. Go check her out, Zach. She's great. Bye, everybody. Yeah, I'm all. In, I'm all into oh. skincare and, and beauty makeup and everything. So. She does unboxing. Okay, it's hard everything. to say goodbye. I know. Me too. As you see one more coming, we get right back into it. <laughs> but have a great day, everybody. Love you. All right. What's bye, that? Y'all. Bye bye. So let's hook up again. All Definitely. Right, see you soon. Bye bye. <coughs>